Good afternoon, Super Metroid fans. That's right. We have a very special all-day affair and exhibition celebrating the 30th anniversary of the release of Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. My name is the Hockey Towner, and this is Shiny Zenny's Super Metroid 30 Years of Speed. I'm joined by the one, the only, perhaps you've heard of him. He has played this game once or twice before. Zost is on the mic with me. What's going on, Zost? Hey, Hockey, it's good to be with you. It's great to be with you too, Zo. So we're kicking off this event. We're hitting the ground running, celebrating 30 years, three decades of this storied speed run with a very special three-way 100% race featuring the host with the most, Shiny Zenny, Mr. Guy Average, and Smellin' Zero One. I think our runners have readied up and we're almost ready to kick this event off. Are you ready for this, Zost? I'm ready, buddy. I'll be uh, providing the technical analysis, but, analysis, but except uh, instead of lines going up and down, we'll be talking about uh, aiming going up and down. <laughs> Absolutely right. Absolutely right, Zos. So it looks like our runners have readied up. They're going to count them down soon. But if you haven't, hit that schedule button. Hit that command for the schedule and check out all of the amazing races, runs, exhibitions that we're going to see, as well as some incredible commentary from members of the Super Metroid speedrun community. Oh, it looks like we're... Oh, we're started now, right? I think oh, so, we're yeah. About to, we're about to be. <laughs> there it is. So, uh, after you, Zos. So, so uh, you're going to see in Terry Station a bunch of arms fell in that makes them go faster. Uh, back to yeah. you, hockey. <laughs> Incredible. That is the hard-hitting technical analysis I was looking for, Zos. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, this man had his Wheaties this morning. Incredible. But yes, as I said, we will start on Sirius Station. We got a little canned Ridley fight here. This kind of kickstart not only the beginning of this speed run, but also the plot of the game. Uh, Samus having received a distress signal after dropping off the baby Metroid from the end of Metroid 2. But uh, what's the what's the trick here? You got to take some damage here, Zos? Yeah, you just want to take damage as quickly as possible, which ends the fight. You can also shoot Ridley on your times if, if you want to, but that takes a long time. It's actually a little harder than uh, it sounds, too. Yeah, to, actually, to, to not take the damage and, and get all the shots off. I think most of us as kids, we probably took the damage we didn't even know it, and it just ended the <laughs> yeah. fight trying to, you know, blow Ridley away with our pea shooter. But difficult section here. It's quick, it's furious, it's fast. Got to watch out for the steam. Hopefully get a little damage boost off of some tiles in the tile room. Ooh, MGA sticking it. Yeah. Shiny having a little bit of trouble there in the tile room. There's so much randomness here with these batters, so uh, they had some bad luck on the, the, the uh, stair room earlier, so didn't get to see any crazy Sari stations, but that's just the nature of Sari stations. It's not that huge of a deal. For sure, those so-called magnet stairs, I believe they've been called before. So our runners are going to head down to the surface of the planet Zebus. And, uh, oh my goodness, not only is he an amazing Super Metroid runner, but look at the production. Look at, <laughs> look at directed and produced by Shiny Zeni himself. Incredible stuff. You love to see it. But a uh, hundred items to pick up to get a hundred percent in this game, Zos. What what are we gonna see from these runners opening here? Uh, well, I will answer the question a little differently. Um, 100 percent because we're getting all these items, we're gonna see a lot of the some of the uh, the most amazing like room by room tech that you'll see in any run because we'll have all the movement items available before too long. So the last half of the game, they'll just be flying through the rooms, but it does make it harder execute the rooms cleanly when you have all these movement items 
But before then, we'll just be, uh, we'll, we'll probably see some divergence with, uh, Guy Average. At least Guy Average. Uh, doing a different route than Zinni. I'm not entirely sure what Smellin's route's gonna be. So it'll be interesting to see here. We'll, we'll see a little variation in the, uh, overall macro route. For sure, for sure, but we won't have any divergence for a little while as all of our runners have to pick up this first key major item that is the morphing ball. Allows passage through one tile gaps, and then of course the first missile pack. But there are a bunch more items to pick up in this retro brinstar, this blue brinstar portion. But why are they gonna wait until later, Zos? Because it's faster. No! <laughs> because it's faster. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> the the ultimate answer to anything is speed right. inside and outside of Super Metroid. You can be a speedrunning pro too, because you know all the answers. <laughs> I'm giving you know, them to you right, right there. Right one, there. One sentence. All of the answers are one answer. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, you you did see uh, Zinni try to pick up more ball a little di differently than the others. Uh, when you're spinning and uh, you ha you can't press a diagonal to keep. That will break your spin. But while you're spinning, the game is trying to detect uh, walls that you can jump off of to do your wall jumping. Like you don't have to be all the way. Obviously, you can be like a little bit away from the wall, but it counts you in some weird way as as touching the wall as well. Uh, so you'll see them try to grab doors uh, a little earlier and spin jump, and were, that's what that's what Zinni was trying to do with that more ball there. Gosh, that's so interesting. The little, the nuance tech, the little minutia of this game is really, really interesting. But what's also yeah. interesting is this very first mini boss fight against Bomb Terizo. They're gonna pick up the Morph Ball Bombs and they have to fight this uh, me mechanical Chozo statue here. But uh, a lot of different strategies for opening. They're gonna try to avoid taking any damage so that they're guaranteed that they'll get some missile ammo. Yeah, the uh, the first part of the game is quite difficult. Still, I was talking about how all the items are difficult, but that that climb right there it, it definitely takes a lot of uh, refining to get to where these players are with the, their uh, their room strats here. Found that was a flawless fight there from the idiot voice and the capitation animation. Yeah, you know I've been waiting to say that for weeks now. But uh, Zenny also having a very good fight. Smell an opening now. Keeping the pea shooter shot groups in groups of five. Probably avoid the oh, Zenny does get the decapitation animation. My goodness. So, yeah, MGA out to a little bit of a lead here heading into Green Hill. Yeah. Got an interesting race developing right here. About it. So Green Brin is uh, home to the very first sequence break of the game, kind of vital for most vanilla Super Metroid speedrun categories. So that's going to be the early Super Metroid. That's right. There's uh, two or three, like, really, really important skips to Super Metroid speedrunning. Uh, early Supers, which skips four spawn, is uh, probably the first one. And... The second, like, most important one is probably Zebatite Skip, that we'll see later, uh, but it's not as important for 100% as it is for 80%. For sure, for sure. With 80%, it saves you, like, having to grab a lot of missiles, but 100%, you could just blow the walls open on the Zebatites. It's still slower to do that. And that's the reason why they don't try to do it, is because it's slower. See it? If, 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 I, if, yeah. <laughs> I don't I've even got... know I'm explaining this. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it all, Zos. I've got all the infinity stones now. I've got because it's faster, because it's slower. God. I just put myself out of a job in the first 10 seconds of the cast. <laughs> never. You will never obsolete yourself, Zos. It's not possible. It's not possible. So a pretty substantial amount of cleanup this early in Brinstar. There's this reserve tank, there's double missile pack, super missile pack, another missile pack. I mean, they're going to be picking up many, many missile packs for a total of 230. But uh, Brinstar, Brinstar, I think, is kind of the the major through fair, I guess you could say, of this run. A lot of, a lot of branching paths and a lot of items to pick up. 
Yeah, before the run, I told Hockey that I wasn't going to be as sharp on my technical analysis since I haven't ran in like a year of this category. And he said, you know, I like the back of your hand. And I told him, well, I think it washed off. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> it's like riding a bike. It's going to be a little wobbly at first, though, but that's okay. We'll recover. It's, right. it's like these runners are having a blast right now. You got right. Sunny and Guy Average heading into Big Pink, although Guy Average holding on to a tenuous lead. Uh, Spellin not too far behind, having just cleared out that uh, early Supers room heading into the Pink Print Star area. MGA getting a weave going down through Pink. Let's see if Zenny gets it too. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Love to see that, it. That is very tough. Like, I don't even go for that. That's, that's a really tough strat. <laughs> Yeah, the D Web and Chad pointing out a classic Zenny line. Uh, I won't sing it because I can't do it justice, but the weave is free if you do it right. So, both Guy Average and Zenny doing it right. I'm grabbing that charge beam, skipping those charge missiles for now because they're going to come back. Why are they going to get it later? Because it's faster. Fantastic. He's taking the line now. He's even taking the line. He didn't even leave me the line to say. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, so demanding. <laughs> demanding to be paired with somebody else this early. We're not even 10 minutes in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so heading upstairs here in Red Red Star to grab the Spazer Beam, the much maligned Spazer Beam. Yeah. It's only gotten in any percent because it's so easy to get. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's you know, it's like the it's like the store brand version. Of Plasma, <laughs> you know? like, why are you gonna spend all that money on Plasma Bean? It's wave. It's wave Bean has been sitting on the shelf for so long, gun stiff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> MGA into Crates Warehouse. Zenny not far behind. Gonna try to blow down this wall with some supers, but MGA looking just razor sharp. And look at this from Smellin'. Yeah. So, so is this not look familiar to you? Runners at my heart right here, Smellin'. Oh my god. Going after my heart. Let's go, Smellin'. <laughs> we got great value plans, and we got Kirkland plans to be in the chat. Oh my god. What have, <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? Tails your feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So MGA gonna be setting up now for a crate quick kills. Then he's sticking to D-boot and look at those. Leaving PBs, smelling with those PBs, taking an alternate route here. But uh, some lag reduction threats from MGA. Look at the execution. I'm done in more ways than one already. <laughs> <laughs> now this is really interesting. Um, smelling going all the way up to Pretoria. Yeah, this is, I don't, I don't understand this one. Very interesting. I'm down oh, for yeah. it, though. I am definitely down for it, yeah. <laughs> I'm all for variety, Viva variety, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. So wait, this is not just a powerbomb part, is it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I he's think... actually going to wreck ship. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> new, oh, new, route really? just dropped. <laughs> new ammo route here. Doing a little CW, trying to do a little CWJ, using that uh, um, moonwalk to get get in the perfect position. You really need to be almost perfect. X pixel position here to, to do this CWJ that Smellin's trying to do. Yeah, this is really, really tough. But there are ways you can do this without Moonwalk, but Moonwalk makes it a lot easier to back into the spot you need to be in. I remember watching the clips last night. Zenny had all sorts of, you know, world record and marathon clips of many different runners of this game, and to see kind of a pre-moon, pre-Moonwalk, post-Moonwalk world. In yeah. Super Metroid was really fascinating. Oh, when when it first came out, it it felt so weird to fight Ridley. I was a, you know I, I think a lot of people were afraid they're gonna have to relearn the entire game. But really, uh, Ridley was probably the biggest by far sort of adjustment. 
Oh yeah, it, it seems like I know there are some standouts who refused to switch to Moonwalk specifically because <laughs> of that Ridley fight. Mm -hmm. It's so comfy to have now though. It's like just another tool in your arsenal, you know, that you can inch backwards slightly and keep your charge beam and some sometimes where like you wouldn't be able to keep your charge uh your charge beam charge going. <laughs> uh you're able to keep it going because of that that uh additional movement capability. For sure, for sure. So Guy Average and Zenny have made it to Upper North here, which has a ton of items to pick up, but they're going to do kind of the first dip here, the first clean out, uh, heading all the way to Bubble Mountain after getting that uh, getting that high jump boots. And uh, yeah, uh, Smellin looks to be doing PRKD. Right. Um, I haven't seen this uh, route done by a human. I don't even know if I've watched a complete like routing of this from a, a theory test or anything, but. The problem is going to be here is how you get into uh, the reserve tank area because it's normally blocked by a speed block. Uh, we may see... I don't know what we're going to see here. I'm guessing we're not going to see a complete wreck ship, but I don't know. Absolutely Unless there's something I don't know about. If that was a fantastic Fantoon fight, though. It's very tough with no suits. Our other two runners do have the Varia suit and way more health and ammo, but that was terrific. Yeah, upper north air here that uh our other two runners in it's got a lot of the really important speed items you got your speed booster obviously you got high jump you got ice beam but particularly speed booster and high jump are just so nice to have just for the movement definitely need one it's nice to have both if you had to pick one over the other i think you'd go high jump because the samus's movement especially your jump height is just so finicky with only speed mm -hmm. Yeah, you you kind of need to practice it, uh, having no no high jump and with with speed but no high jump because oh it just really messes with your head with your jump heights because sure. you you jump like lower than you did before in a lot of instances so it's wild a really nice uh, de beautiful de boost from MGA in single chamber as well as leaving the bat cave Zenny hot on MGA's heels. Stone though gonna be grabbing this super missile pack, but like you said, Zos, a lot of the wrecked ship will not be available to him. Yeah, I think you can get mostly everything. It's just that uh, some of the things on the the top outside area will be very slow. Well, some uh, well things in general will be very slow if, if Smell continued to do this. But I guess we're getting there. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> 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 if you don't know that I don't have a prayer, those, because, my goodness, I'm enjoying it though. I have no question about it. This is a heck of a heck of a start to this event. 30 years of speed, Super Metroid 30th anniversary. We love to see it. Just smelling into the attic, just pounding through those uh, those key hunters and atomics. And meanwhile, Zenny and MGA trying to. They've already summited Bubble Mountain. They're now going to the going underneath the mountain here, like. Uh, some Lord of the Rings fellowship action here. <laughs> Can't go over the mountain, just go through it. <laughs> but taking advantage of that uh, frog speedway, we do see MGA heading down to Crocomire. So that's that's kind of the a telltale right. sign for early Croc, late Croc sort of thing. And Zenny going upstairs though and grabbing Ice Beam. Yeah, this is kind of the divergence I was speaking to with uh, MGA and Zenny. This is a pretty big uh, route divergence. You're going to see a lot of um, grapple usage from MGA in the middle of the run that uh, Zinni's not going to be able to show off. Uh, the, which is going to save time, uh, definite amounts of time. So the difference between these two routes is uh, pretty close, actually. Uh, especially with people who have been investigating the new uh, how to do grapple strats in the last few years or last three or four years or something like that. I know MGA has been a big proponent of the grapple strats and has been working on that sort of routing. Amazing stuff and really amazing ice escape there from Zenny and a picture perfect croc fight from MGA grabbing that E tank and then heading down to grab the aforementioned grapple beam. But Smellin having gotten the gravity suit now, 
I do have on good authority that Smellin will be running PDKR. Yeah, that Hundo. makes sense. Incredible. Have you seen that before, Zoe? Uh, not that I remember, but I've forgotten a lot of things that I've seen. <laughs> I mean, it's been like 12 years, so. But I don't think so. I don't think I have, Rondo. You heard it here first, folks. Zoe's has forgotten more than you'll <laughs> ever know about Super Metroid. That was, that was the nickname I get, or the, uh, the phrase that I, I, I gave Desi originally. Is that right? Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. His bot command in my channel is Desi's forgotten more about SM than you ever learned. <laughs> it's been that way for a long time. Amazing stuff. So pay to PV pickup here for smelling. I'm I'm excited to see this. Like i I'm this is a good showcase here. You love to see it. But uh, Zenny and Guy Average sticking, you know, a little bit more to the mainstream here. Uh, Guy yeah. Average picking up that grapple beam. I love the grapple beam, not just for the grapple capability, but right there, that kind of hit scan property that it has, the fastest projectile in Samus's arsenal. Perfect for opening doors without bonking them. Yeah, I believe it has something to do with the fact that it's attached to your body, so you're pushing it forward as it extends forward. Oh, that's so interesting. So it's already traveling at Samus's rate of speed. I believe so. Don't don't quote me. I'm just the technical analysis for the 30th anniversary <laughs> run. <laughs> but, 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 like, look at LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow over here, but don't take my word for it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So now Smellin going for X-ray scope here. Had a absolute picture perfect. Love, love that X-ray. Very nicely done. <laughs> Yeah, the, the top two routes are more of your, like, mainstay routes for this category, but... And we always encourage people to think outside the box, because that's how a lot of things are found. No question. No question about it. And what, what better... What better for an exhibition, and what a bigger challenge to us as co-commentators to have three yeah. routes running simultaneously! I uh, love this! I'm not being sarcastic, I promise. No, I love it. I love that Smellin's showing us some variety here. It's great. A little ocean, ocean fly there for Zenny, or perhaps Ocean Spark. I didn't see his exit from the moat. But the guy ever can just swing across the moat like Tarzan. No problems with that grapple beam. But I like the, the early... E oh, sorry. No, please. I was going to say, I love the early x-ray. It reminds me of uh, uh, Red Scarlet's... I, I think Red Scarlet's old uh, segmented world record, 100% way, way back in the day, did early x-ray. And uh, I remember looking at Desi's spreadsheets, which calculated all the different routing possibilities, and being kind of surprised that early X-ray doesn't lose quite as much time as I thought it would, you know, without Space Jump. It's, it's really not, if you do it optimally, it's really not as big of a time sink as you might think it would be. That's awesome. I, you know, I'm feeling my inner Obi-Wan Kenobi when you said Red Scarlet. That's a name I've not heard in a long time. Right. Oh my goodness. The game may be 30 years old, but I feel like the... When, when did really kind of the roots of this speedrun community really start to take off? Oh, God. Well, like, our community is not the first community, I would, right. I would say. So our community really started. You know, I mean, I wasn't even there when it started either. So. <laughs> I mean, it's been pretty fluid, I would say, you know. For sure. Uh, Red Scarlet and Oda go back to, like, the early 2000s. Yeah, you go back to, like, the SDA forums and stuff where people were sharing times on that. Uh, and then the M2K2, obviously, where the uh, sort of came from, I guess you would say. Like, the it was sort of, like, divided between uh, a few different small communities like that. And I, I identified more with what I would call the SRL community, but it's, those are kind of, like, outdated now as far as the community being silent or whatever. Chat pointing out, yes, while I was too busy pontificating on the history of this uh, speedrun, MJ did have an amazing, amazing red tower climb straight into Hellway there, using those, uh, using ledge grabs, down grabs, all tools of attack, staying the hitbox. Great fan tune fight there from Zenny and smelling into more Ferris and Green today. CMJ using the um, grapple to pick up a little bit of extra health there from one of the CAC attacks and 
one is uh, already jumping above it, so that's cool. I love but it. Yeah, um, the farm the, beam. It's, on, it's an honest beam. It's an honest yeah. Beam. <laughs> <laughs> the delayed response. <laughs> uh, I didn't quite finish my thought earlier about the uh, the difference between the early grapple and the yeah. non-early grapple routes, but you'll see Zinni make up time on the croc area when revisiting croc late you can just one hit croc and you'll have all the movement items for crocs area so really just removing all of the rng and all of the um swipes that croc gives you one hitting croc is probably the number one by far away best time save in this uh route that zinni's using for sure for compared sure. to the mga one i mean but also much much harder to get to that uh to get to uh shack tool requiring that Puyo ice flip that yes, is why it's any grab early ice and you'll see right here that uh mga has one extra e tank so it does tighten up uh how much you can you really have to not take much if if not any extra damage when you're going to wreck ship after zenny gets this e tank it becomes very vital that you don't take un unnecessary damage because then it just loses you a lot of time and at some point you won't even be able to spark to the gauntlet um, e tank so. oh that's right of course yeah because that would be where our runners would head after wreck ship now uh you can do gauntlet last and it's not that bad uh, a lot of runners won't do it just because they're not used to doing it so they don't like to you know go out and they're afraid they're gonna like forget it or something. <laughs> but uh, I, I definitely encourage people to have that in their arsenal if they try, you know, the, the late crock route, and they want to do races. Because if you're doing races, that's really nice to have in your back pocket. No question about it. A, a Swiss Army knife, a veritable Swiss Army knife of strats, is what it takes to be a top level runner like these three. Uh, MGA going for a little, going for that X factor on fan tune, but we did see kind of a. A stunning sponge bath into spiky room oh. of death. Oh, yeah, a little high on that second missile. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, got bailed out there. Really nice attic there from Senny. The oh, speed keep. Oh, <laughs> let's go. You love to see it. And now let these robots put Senny through. Come on. Got to clip through him just kind of like Zeb Skip, but kind of not. Oh, no! my goodness. We're going to be seeing more of those robots later on when we reach bowling to grab the gravity suit. Uh, Zenny and I know, I believe you do that pretty often too, the so-called robot flush. Robot flusher, yeah. So we will see. Um, essentially, when we get to bowling, bowling arena, where uh, the, the bowling chorizo's at, we will see uh, Zenny shooting at the floor. It looks like Zenny's just shooting at the floor, but uh, you're using Wave Beam and Spazer to shoot through the floor and hit the robots underneath there and push them into the spikes before you even get down there so they'll be out of the way. And we'll also see him lay a power bomb in the spikes. You have to lay it at the very bed of the spikes to hit the, the power bomb blocks below you. But if you do it all correctly, you will just zoom right past all the the lower area which normally you would be blocked by those uh, robots for a good 10 seconds or so pretty substantial time save with those two charge shots into bowling yeah going i think it's like bikes. i think it's like around the uh, roughly five second time save maybe six something like that not bad at all. Really, yeah i feel like we've, we've heard this category described before as death by a thousand cuts and that's exactly what it is it's so sad at the beginning of the race it is so vital to optimize so many different rooms, and with a dip, with a with a constantly changing item set, like it's crazy. Yep, there is, there's just so many little ins and outs to try to optimize, and uh, the room strats get very difficult. So it's so hard to be co consistent throughout this whole run. Like if you look at runs, speed runs that are unlikely to be unbeatable this has got to be high i mean sm is in general high up there because the movement options are just so hard to uh <laughs> so hard to utilize like to the level of an actual computer would right and it's just kind of impossible to to because the capability the game gives you so many options and so many movement options that it just makes it really hard to, to match that but and then you add in the the length of this run 
It, it's yeah, just, that's the killer. For yeah, sure. yeah. We did see a nice little spark there in Mama Turtle from Smelling. So Smelling into Meridia, which is a sequence uh, area of the game. We're not gonna. We'll, we'll see shortly from Zenny and MGA, but they are gonna take a little deep to work back to Criteria. But uh, this is just so fascinating to me. Seeing smelling do, do this, it's so cool. I have an unreasonable uh, nostalgia for crab supers because <laughs> uh, it used to be sort of like an any a viable any percent pickup back in the day. It's picking up uh, crab supers for some reason always gives me a little tingle, tingle in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> that twinge of nostalgia, <laughs> you love it. Yeah, it looks like MGA may have had a little better, better time with the robot room. Zinni got a little lucky, unlucky, by the way. Uh, he did miss the second robot clip, but the robot immediately shot a, uh, a little beam, and then when the robot shoots a little beam, it reels, reels backwards, and then you can't clip through it, so Zinni just had to sort of push it out of the way at that point, unfortunately. But he did get both robots flushed at bowling. Oh, nice. So really, really nice tech there. So now into Gauntlet for, uh, for Zenny here. Setting up a wraparound shot to open up the door, storing a shine spark, falling up well. Oh, missed the, missed the charge. Good backup here, though. Not a lot of real estate to get that short charge, and having to use some reserve. Or just taking off his beams, I'm sorry. He gets just enough energy. Yeah. We, we kind of use the opportunity to do both here. That's why you always, almost always see the, the, the pause here, because you can manipulate your energy to stop short to do this trick. So you do a very tight short charge, and it's got to be very specific. It can't be too good, it can't be too sloppy, <laughs> because you want your you want the back heel of your foot and essentially to turn blue where you don't fall down, but you knock the block away underneath the oh, my oh, 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 oh my goodness, that he's saving, saving that crumble fall there after getting what his wife Sassy dubbed the procreation professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The Samus Expert Master. The Samus Expert Master <laughs> dubbed by Seppi, who also called it the Teletubby Huggy. Uh, a trick known by many different names. <laughs> and smelling having no problems at all with Botwin. They're setting up for the full halfy. Going to be sparking across the Coliseum. Great wall jumps tight through the door here. Oh! Oh, the quarter halfy. <laughs> the quarter. Oh, just a little bit too high. They're going to have to use some very tricky wall jumping here across the Coliseum. All of our runners here on a crash course with uh, our other two runners are headed towards Meridia now. But uh, about to see a lot of Meridia, it seems like. Oh yes. Hockey, do you do you do you think uh, Drago knows how how cooked they are? How, uh, how cooked how cooked <laughs> she or he is? If they don't, they're about to find out because there there are many different ways to prepare shrimp in this game we got microwave <laughs> shrimp fried shrimp electrified shrimp dragons crystal flash <laughs> hockey hockey dragons as good as gumbo here <laughs> <laughs> the alliteration i love it oh it's so good oh and i completely forgot about the the green brin star cleanup the criteria gauntlet into green brin you got to get the bottom of green brin of course if you're the Etikun's, uh very subtle instruction on how to wall jump. All three of these runners have incredible wall jumping abilities. No need for a tutorial. And down goes Dragon. Oh my goodness, what a fight from Spelling. No grapple, no no must, no fuss. Just spark to death. <laughs> blue suit there. Couldn't convert to a spike suit, but still holding on to that blue suit grab. And my personal favorite nice. item in the game is Space Jump. Good stuff from Smelling. These uh, these Grim Brinstar rooms that Zenny's about to do, or that Zenny's doing, oh, there's some Mission Impossible here. So you're gonna, what what you do here, it's pretty easy. If you, you have to jump into the hole and then do a quick drop, 
and you just hold left to grab the item, and then you can... Once once you're in the item fanfare, you can hold right and jump, and she'll instantly do a spin jump, like a buffered spin jump, which makes getting up there a, li a lot easier. And then from that, that point, it's just doing the uh, wall jump at the correct time to get out of there. But these, uh, these green and pink rooms in Hundo are... It may be one of my favorite segments in Hundo. It's just uh, zipping through everything crazy. It's just a lot of fun movement to, to execute, I think. No question about it. And did I just miss the first opportunity of this event to say Yahtzee? I think I just did. I don't know. I didn't see if the mock ball into that Botoon E tank was clean. Chat, help me out. But also, we have got a question in chat. How much harder is that wraparound shot MGA did without Spazer? It, I believe it's much more more uh, precise yeah if i'm if i remember correctly it's like a different i don't i can't remember but i i think it is a lot tighter as far as the uh, exposition which is already pretty tight with the uh you know spacer beam version but you definitely have more leeway with the, the spacer beam version gotcha just by virtue of it just being much more i guess so i don't know if that's you know it hadn't been sitting on the store <laughs> got to get it got to get yeah. it nice and seasoned nice and dry. Yeah, it's not seasoned it's enough not yeah, seasoned. yeah that's right yeah. but uh both, everyone is just playing <laughs> really really sharp really clean movement guy average now into green brin but zenny about to finish up here uh in pink brin start grabbing that energy tank we did see the back of spore spawn that setup can be pretty precise pretty tight uh to get that super to destroy that super block so we see mga doing that in no time at all but smelling into the sand pits very very difficult rooms with the current item set even though he does have space for it. there's any with a nice uh, clip out of there clipping through the ceiling essentially that's what that one's particularly hard because you can't see your character as you're doing it so you have to sort of uh, know where you're at uh, when you're behind that that little hill. Yeah, this guy. I, I rarely have I ever seen outside of randomizer a plasma wave uh, combination here. It, it, it looks so strange to me without ice. But uh, this is the route that Smellin's on. It's so interesting to me, so intricate uh, to be doing Fantoon Dragon. And then I believe Craig Ridley. So we get we get we get a, a triple feature today, chat. We have three different routes running simultaneously. Uh, MJ and Zenny have converged for the time being, but uh, smelling taking the path less traveled, you might say so. Yeah, this is the a fantastic show. This is one of the many reasons that we love this game. I think. Um... The fact that it's such an open world game, such a successful open world design, like it leads, it lends to all these different and colorful routing options. It's kind of crazy how a lot of times completely different approaches to the game can all be viable. And that probably is a testament to the, to the skill ceiling of this game as well, but... Oh, for sure. The skill ceiling is, we still haven't found the limit yet. Now, this is, to me, this routing is going to be so interesting because Smellin has now picked up the plasma beam, is now traveling back through East Meridia now. I believe maybe going to Aqueduct, or perhaps they already got those items. Oh, no, I got to go to Left Sand Pit, of course. I'm guessing we're getting... Are we getting Spring Ball with, like, extra climb or something here? Maybe. It's a definite possibility. Or did I miss the better? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with three screens. <laughs> and, and then one that's doing something that you're really not sure what's going to happen. <laughs> right, makes, right. That, that definitely throws a monkey wrench into things. But, I, I, again, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it, too. Yeah, it looks like, looks like I, for once in my life, so I was right. We're going with the left sand pit here from smelling. Zenny had to back it up and try again on that short charge here in Mama Turtle, but grabbing that missile tank in the wall in addition to the energy tank. Guy Average getting that Spore Spawn missile without fighting Spore Spawn. That's right, folks. This is not all bosses. No need to fight Spore Spawn in this category. And whoo-hoo! MJ just cooking right now with that speed keep through the door. A little morph ball speed there. Fantastic stuff in there. Oh, feel that twinge, that tingles, those. 
<laughs> crab super. Feel, feel, feeling that that crab super tingle again. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to make the wiki page that crab super single man you just gotta let it you just gotta let it envelop you you just gotta let it take over <laughs> oh my goodness gracious <laughs> <laughs> So Zenny and Nemertia now, this is going to be a one-stop shop. Zenny's going to clear everything out. Already getting those beach missiles heading over to the watering hole. Guy Average having picked up the waterway energy tank. So is not too far away for MGA. And now we're going to get a Crade fight from Smellin here. And going into Crade's warehouse just absolutely scrapped compared to our other two runners. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be obviously just like... Uh, like when you run Hundo, Zoe's gonna grab early PB. Is this gonna be a single dip Crade's warehouse? That's right. Uh, it's kind of interesting to me that we're doing Crade. Uh, yeah. It, it seems like Smelling could come back after speed boost here. So this is interesting. I, I'm, I know. I'm sure Smelling is rather this. Oh, we already had speed boost here. Oh yeah, we did it. We did a little. I forgot we already went down. <laughs> <laughs> I told you smelling had it out of that better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it better than we got it, so it's not right. that much. <laughs> that might not be saying very much. You know? No, not to take a single thing away from smelling, but dang. <laughs> so it's setting up for that great quick kill again. Okay. Going with those lag production strats, taking damage off the spikes. Missile opener, three supers. Bing. Bada boom, bada bing. Easy like Sunday bang. morning. <laughs> Now look at this from Zenny though, going with the D-Factor, he called X-Factor into supers, hard pattern, still getting the one round though, fantastic stuff from Zenny. Yeah, that's that's probably the worst pattern, uh, it's just the slowest, there's no way to speed it up to make it past the other ones really. And it's kind of weird too, because it's the only one that's above your head I think, so yeah. yeah. And Bontu has such a difficult hitbox. Zenny now setting up for to cross the Coliseum with the full Let's happy. Go. Oh my goodness gracious me. We're going to see MGA do some uh, grapple strats here. Uh, it's going to look a little different than what Zenny was trying to go through. Go for here. Oh, that was tight. Really mm -hmm. tight grapple there. Yeah, MGA not wasting any movement here. Not like what, swinging way above. Just swinging right next to it to, to minimize the wasted movements there. That's terrific stuff. Very terrific stuff from MGA. But Zenny already into Dragon. Now remember, MGA's got to grab Ice Beam. But Zenny needs to do Croc and grab But Zenny's going to be chock a block full of every movement item in the game. Potential for Croc I get through this dragon fight. Looking really nice so far. <laughs> Very nice. Hockey, is this Meridia or New Orleans? <laughs> that's a great question. I mean, that's. These runners are good. Gumbo, shrimp, shrimp, remoulade, you name it. I mean, <laughs> we got, we got, we got options here. You know, we got options here. So. Those, I, I prepared two Dragon jokes specifically for this hockey <laughs> because I just wanted to, to make sure that I was responsible for making your Dragons exciting every every time that you commentate <laughs> as Super Metroid. Oh my so, god. <laughs> the reference. <I> just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was probably my favorite moment in Super Metroid Speed Gaming because, simply because of Eddie's reaction. Eddie, yeah. He was weird. absolutely beside himself. <laughs> I cannot believe those did that. <laughs> you sounded like a parent scolding their child. <laughs> it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. But uh, we saw a reverse full happy there from Zeddy. Guy averaged down into the watering hole to pick up those that little couplet of items there. You got a missile and a super. <laughs> Smelling, though, turn on the afterburners here, going through the croc speedway on his way to Lower Norfair. <laughs> So is it just, I guess, I guess you get all the G4 bosses done, you get Norfair done, and then you just do a big wrap up. I think that's gotta be the route. Yeah, and um, 
it's kind of cool. Uh, it, it looks like we're leaving like top of wreck ship. Wait, no, we did top of wreck ship. That's... <laughs> yeah. We still got to yeah. get the reserve tank though, right? That's right. We do have to. So get we the that 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 kind of is like. So like wreck ship is sort of adjacent to Turian in some ways. You can kind of see it, and, see and that, also, yeah. yeah. So like it's it's not that bad going back to wreck ship before Turian. Ooh, Guyver's with the same pattern. Unfortunately, did Kojak a super into the ceiling. Unable to get the one round done, but does finish off Otoon. Over with that D-Factor as well. So, making progress here. Now, here, Zenny's setting up for the yeah. so-called Puyo Ice Flip here. Oh, oh, that was an interesting version. The aim down at the top. Try. And now, a moment of relaxation. Zenny burning through those missiles. That's going to be vital uh, was... against uh, GT, correct? Uh, yeah. It, it's going to be helpful for GT, yeah. It's helpful for GT, yeah. To, to, to encourage GT to drop more supers. Right, we're going to get some more farming uh, from from uh, GT because of that. Essentially, if you're below, I think if you're below 32 missiles, the Golden Terezo will not do the the swipe beam attack like the, the sonic boom attack at you that's right um you'll just get the, the the balls that that you can farm from so you can get a lot of extra supers if you manipulate gt not to only only do the farming the the farmable attack i'm not sure if zinni meant to do that puyo ice clip like that that was i don't know if he missed the recharge or there's something new that i did not know about but yeah, maybe, but uh, despite entering the fight with 100 missiles, Smellin had a terrific GT fight, uh, able to just kind of corner trap and use that charge, that charge plasma wave beam to great effect. And picking up the most overpowered, I should say ice beam as well, the most overpowered item in the game, the screw attack. There's a reason to get it last in a casual playthrough. It just makes Lower Norfair oh so comfy. MJ with a nice dragon finishing off dragon and getting the space jump. I only oh. have two dragon jokes. Sorry. Well, we got barbecue <laughs> shrimp, shrimp, <laughs> shrimp and potatoes, oh, Creole God. shrimp. <laughs> you can fry it, saute it, boil it. <laughs> I, really, I don't know. <laughs> I, I lost it. Uh, it, it's it's always interesting to commentate uh super metroid I'm, i've been doing it's the only way i've been able to carve myself out into this community because i'm just terrible at the game but uh i've never lost cabin pressure so rapidly as today and i'm loving every second of it. So thank you so we're only about we're maybe two-thirds of the way through this run then he picking up the plasma beam taking care of those very nice yeah, that plasma room is very difficult to pull off like that. Okay, though, continuing the, the, I call it the Meridia grind, just having to revisit and revisit and retread and go over the same areas over and over and over again. You see Aqueduct like four times, maybe three. Counting was never my strong suit. It's a very tough area in Hundo and Aqua Blue Sky. I mean, you can say that about, oh my god, Zinni. He's so good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. As our good friend Professor School would say, the movement like this is just poetry in motion. Really is he going to get the turnaround? Oh, yes, let's go! <laughs> oh, and Zos goes wild, Chad! Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, just that th that sequence of rooms, like through Cag Attack Alley, back into kind of pre Coliseum there. Oh, that turnaround. Now, MGA going with the more traditional. Grapple that crumble, crumble a bull, grapple block there, and then <laughs> heading. <laughs> try saying that ten times. Um, and now heading into Shag Tool to grab that spring ball. I feel like the de if there's one little quibble I have with the design of this game, it's like why did they bury spring balls so deep and so far into the game? No, please switch Baser and Spring Balls to your force. Yeah, can we get it? Can we get? Can we get on? Get on? You know, everyone's got a subscription nowadays to Nintendo Live or Nintendo Online, whatever it's called. Can we get a patch to this game, please? <laughs> like, come on. But uh, look at this Ridley fight from Smell and just like, manipulating the pogo pattern, just pounding Ridley with those super missiles. So many supers on deck here. Yeah, over the years, uh, in the speedrun, we 
been more inclined to, to just unload on Ridley with supers to try to save time. I, that was one of the one of the things I loved about you know burning you burn the missiles during the shack tool cutscene if you want to call it that you manipulate GT into dropping more drops that provide you with super so you can just go into Ridley and just boom 25 26 seconds later you're done yep. it's, just, it's just absolutely amazing to watch I think full beam is more like uh, kind of near 40 seconds so yeah it oh can wow be a pretty Time save. I mean, it may be less than that. I'm, I, I can't remember exactly, but, but I want to say it's like 10 time. seconds. Yeah, if you just do beam, it's going to be significantly slower. DPS always wins, especially in Ridley fights. So uh, just gradually us being able to better uh, conserve our ammo is paid dividends. Yep. For sure. For sure. So now Zenny with the double dip into Crazy House to grab this missile pack. MGA taking the uh, taking the shoot shoot as I like to call it upstairs <laughs> now to go grab plasma. <laughs> well, people call it the toilet, and I'm like, it looks nothing like a toilet. It's just, it's just a <laughs> vertical tube, <laughs> and it's guarded by shoot, so it's the shoot shoot. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how MGA handles this pink pink plasma pirate room. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's very good <laughs> as well. Oh my gosh. That was a fast room. Yeah. <laughs> so Zeddy and Chad during mid race saying that Puyo ice clip is standard for me now because the, the other, other one, one broke. broke. What? What do you that's mean weird. it broke? Did you try gluing it back together, Zeddy? Like, come on. <laughs> Oh it's weird, goodness. like, sometimes things in this game will break for me, and then I'll just have to move away from them and try something else, and then I'll go back and they'll be fixed again. I'll be like, oh what? My gosh. What? <laughs> it's like you turn and you look away, and suddenly, you know, that mirror is no longer broken, and that picture frame is no longer crooked, you know? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite coffee mug doesn't have a crack in it anymore. <laughs> it's Incredible. Way, try boiling speed. it on the stove, says <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Great for Nintendo 72 pin connectors. I don't know if it'll work for speedrun strats. Wait. <laughs> do people boil their 72 pins? Oh, or? yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> it relaxes the pins. Or such oh, my God. To do. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. So, smelling leaving Upper North, or I should say Lower North Fair. Zenny entering Lower North Fair. Guy average with a really nice speed boost there. No need to overcomplicate that strat and potentially soft lock to the top of Aqueduct there. Zinni with the, the blue strat through here to uh, the uh, Torizo. You saw Smellin do a, a damage boost into the lava and then space jump over to here. Uh, another example of varying strats that are both viable. You see all those just everywhere. I think that's what I love about this game is, you know, I, I disagree with people that are outside the community that say, like, at the, t at the highest level of this game, it's very quotidian, it's very homogenous in terms of strats. It's like, no, every single runner, regardless of skill level, has, like, a fingerprint, and they have strats that they like, strats that they go for, that they are very comfortable with, and they're all different, and it's, that's what makes this game so exciting, especially in a race setting. So there you go. There's my. There's my. I'm off my soapbox. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, this reminds me of something uh, the Garrison said, and, and a very. I think it was my first world records chat that this reminded me of, and he even understood this back then. So this is a quote from him in 2012. The best part about Super Metroid is there are so many different takes on every room. There's no true best strat just due to consistency fluctuating from person to person. Yeah. That has a very good understanding yeah. of of that aspect of Super Metroid, I believe. Very understanding, though, and very prescient, because, like, that mm -hmm. is the advice that any top-level runner will give any new one. It's, like, it's not about the, what the quote-unquote fast strats that you theory test or whatever. It's about being consistent and moving Samus in space. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Fast boost from Zenny. Bottom of Bubble Mountain here for smelling. So a little bit. Of we're, we're, we're going back to Norford. Just clean things out just a little bit more. And Guy Average now dipping into Crate's Warehouse again. 
but uh, lower north is still very treacherous, very difficult section, even with this item. It's all about the speed. I think now we're going to be heading down to Krakemeyer for smelling. There's nothing left in Norfair to do besides that. <laughs> so just do everything that Daz does. <laughs> See, it's easy. It's easy if you think about it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do it be because it's faster. <laughs> <laughs> Use them own words against me. <laughs> Help! I'm in trouble now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, super smooth from smelling there. Crossing Krakenmeyer's acid pit, grabbing that e tank. No muss, no fuss. Able to one shot Croc just like uh, just like Zenny's going to once he leaves Lower Norfair. But Zenny's still on the treacherous trek down to Ridley. But look, so, look at that super count. That's just absolutely crap. Good lord, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, charge beams take exactly one second, or actually, let me be a little more. Not actually uh, exactly one second, but 60 frames, which is a little different than one second. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. I, I don't want you to. I want, I want, I want Zos with all limiters <laughs> disabled here. <laughs> So Overclock. that takes 60 frames, but uh, you can fire uh, a super against Ridley does double damage. So it does uh, the same. It's faster, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh my like, God. I, I think you're going for a three, a three ratio of supers to charge beam Two. shots. Thank you, hockey. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. We can't even explain it. I it's know. It's over. It's already over. <laughs> Zenny didn't give us any time to even explain anything. Gosh. How selfish of him. I don't know. It's like they don't even want it. They don't even want us to like tell everybody what's going on here. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> They're my too gosh. good. Too good. Really nice uh, Indiana Jones there from Smelling showing off that space jump. No need to spark, no need to swing. Able to grab that big tag, so. Uh, Zinni can Zinni can run the stream, explain things in chat, r run at a world re record pace, and I'm having trouble just explaining what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us so. That's why that's why he wanted us for this. <laughs> we gotta hit the ground running. Oh Zinni's my gonna God. Zinni's gonna take a second chance at this just to show us his strat here. Oh, this is clip. wonderful. Yeah, clip through the uh, platform with the shine spark here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, we during the progression of all the world records last night we did not see that one in 2016 i'll give you that one. <laughs> wow so i'm leaving krakenmeyer now sunny though now heading back up red key hunt to the shaft guy average into the gt fight didn't doesn't look like he burned his missiles off there during uh, right. during what you call it during shack two Attacking with the, uh, the sonic boom. But look at the corner trap, very nice. Yeah, if you duck and aim upwards, uh, GT takes two hits for those uh, plasma beam shots. You can also jump over. So you have to hold, essentially, you duck and hold both your angle buttons, and you can That's fire right, upwards. Of course, the upward shot. Yeah. But you can also jump and shoot downwards to get it if you don't have both your angle buttons, like a beam would do. Like Or if GT is jumping, you can just stand and shoot. Up. We got we got options. Like everywhere we got options. in this game, we got options. Like mini boss fights, full boss fights, snap skips. We got options. Looks like we're all maybe going back towards Springdale here again. Yeah. Yeah, now with grapple in his arsenal. This has to be the music here. Let's grab that spring ball. The spring ball is responsible for probably my favorite Super Metroid trick, which is the uh, first slinky. Um, absolutely highest challenge, I think, to get in a run. Kind of in the 
pantheon of Super Metroid movement tricks, but... Yeah, definitely an upper echelon of uh, strats that you might see in a world record sort of difficulty of those strats. Of course, you could probably go into, like, some very obscure stuff and find all kinds of crazy things, but just speaking for, like, movement strats and, and their viable world record, yeah, it's very up there as a difficulty. For sure. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Lower Norfair in his rearview mirror, though. He still has some Norfair cleanup to do. He's gonna be grabbing this Norfair reserve. And uh, we'll be finishing it off with yeah, a we'll little be going down retro brain cleanup. He's still gotta go to uh, Krokemeyer, so that's oh, why. God. MG, M yeah, MG is gonna catch up a lot of time while Zinni has to. Because MGA has already done Krokemeyer, so. Right, right, it, right. How could I forget? How could I forget Blade Croc? My goodness. Well. Considering the source is pretty easy, but uh, <laughs> that's okay. We're in this together, so if hey. I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. So I see you just you're just trying to give me a little boost, give me some job security back. I appreciate that's right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Why settle for store brand when you can have Zost? <laughs> oh my goodness! I love that. I love that. Uh, bottom of Bubble Mountain D-Boost, probably my favorite D-Boost in the entire game. Yeah. Uh, Smell now equipped with that Spring Ball, can do all sorts of wild Spring Ball strats. And, nice uh, boost on you. Oh, sorry, I was going to say nice boost on the wafer back to the left, on Bubble. Oh, yeah. MGA, though, into Ridley, going a little more standard fight. This is going to take just a little bit longer going with beam shots here, but we'll probably open up, open up the super cache. Uh once the second color changes on Ridley. MJ just sticking with the beams. Oh, wow, impressive. So holding on to that ammo for sure. It could catch you back up to Amaturian, potentially. It depends on how uh, fortunate Zenny does or doesn't get with the uh, super drops coming up. And in Turian, Metroids. Look at this from Zos. Look at this routing. Smelling into Forgotten Highway to head hey. back. Hey. I love to see it. Oh the, the, the Spring Ball Forgotten Highway. Wreck Ship Reserve Connection. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. But, uh, did he already get... I don't know if he already got uh, Wreck Ship E. I don't think he had. I don't know. Yeah, I think it, it kind of felt like it made me more clean up too because yeah, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> like yeah. it's so hard to pay attention, but it, it kind of looked almost like a PRKD. I was gonna say yes, exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Was it felt very much like a wreck. It definitely it it makes a ton of sense to skip wreckship E tank if you're coming back to Forgotten Highway because oh yeah, it, it like it, it drops you off sort of halfway to wreckship E tank. Uh, as opposed to like coming from the wreck ship shaft, the main uh, shaft and wreck ship. Right, right. And just you don't normally see uh, East Ocean done that cleanly, but with this item mode out, you smell and feel just phenomenal stuff, and then just heading straight upstairs to get that wreck ship E tank. Yeah, space jump right to it. This is so interesting. I, I feel it's like I'm privileged to see this. Like this is really special to have three different routes. I know I've, I'm not trying to belabor the point, but how about oh, oh. <laughs> so close yeah. from MGA going for the Hoda Ruby special. Oh, so close. Clean D boost though from Smell and entering Spiky Room of Death here. Just a little bit more wreck ship to. To do unfortunately that, that does that mean that smell will that's two bowling cutscenes um i think so yeah 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 okay but look at look at that the leap of faith in the cosine room from shiny zenny to grab that missile pack leaving krakenmeyer or i should say leaving grapple just what what can't these runners do zost i know i i think you're right it's, i i just want to agree with you on uh, being kind of blessed because these are three top tier runners here and showing us kind of a, a lot of what this category offers this is a really good showcase here no question what a start what a start to this event a huge shout out to zenny 
uh, and Sassy for organizing this 30 years of speed, celebrating the 30th anniversary of Super Metroid. Easily my favorite speed running or speed game of all time. I'm sure that a lot of people in chat can agree with that sentiment. But uh, if you haven't taken a look at the schedule yet, uh, make sure you do, because there are some very, very interesting esoteric kind of off the beaten path showcases coming your way in addition to some really exciting runs featuring some of your favorite and some of the finest speedrunners you've ever seen so stay tuned because this is going to be running all day all right Zos, i'll snap back to reality oh there goes gravity suit which all three runners have but Curious. MGA doing Norfair clean out. Zenny though heading to has to be heading to uh to retro. X ray. Oh, yeah. X ray first, of course. Yeah. Uh, does he have a shine spark story? We're about to find out. Well, that would be a given that we're going back to X ray, but uh, <laughs> with, the, with this showcase, uh, we got we got a runner who's already gotten X ray, so it's not quite a given. Yeah. Way to go, Zenny. That so that shine spark, that that spike suit came all the way from when he fought Krakemeyer. I to be honest with you, Zos, I didn't even see him get it. Although I feel like Zenny is the most consistent. What did I say yesterday? The most consistent spike suit getter there is in this game. But uh, yeah, I would definitely call him like the best spike suit keeper. Keeper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> like he, he was the one that, that really. Uh, Pushed RBO with that too, with the, uh, the, the like going all the way past Botru and with the spikes that you got from the upper or the lower North Air Escape. That's right. That's so, right. yeah, that was like crazy to me when he first started doing that. So I would, yeah. Shiny Zenny, keeper of the spike suit. Oh, here keeper we go. of the spike oh, suit. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> That's the first part, though. I know. That was looks so good. You have Almost to be so good. light. You have to be so light on your tabs, but they have to be it. I mean, you're jumping different varying heights, but it's like yeah. going so quick that it's like the difference in barely pressing and just a little bit less barely t pressing it, you know? <laughs> That's wild, yeah. Just these are these are digital buttons, but they approach them like they're analog because it goes like, <laughs> time held. Like it's so wild. Yeah. This is way before pressure sensor buttons on a controller. MGA showing off the utility of that space jump, just space jumping straight across pre-X-ray. Picking up that X-ray beam. Sending the into Retro Brin. Retro Brin has uh, got some of your craziest movement in this category. It's one of the most difficult segments uh, movement-wise in this category. Uh, a lot of the, the best runs these days have just like sick retros. When, it, when the run coalesces, it all comes together in one final, one final clean out. No, oh, I think so. Tra trajectory from Spell down that Shine Spark was just a little bit to the right there. They didn't quite get to the uh, the landing site uh, PBs. That's okay. He shook himself off. Space jumped up there. Let's see if Zinni's. What strat is going for? Oh yeah, <laughs> I love that strat. That's oh, very, it's very difficult strat right it's there. So good. So a little wrap around shot here from Spawn heading to Gauntlet. Plenty of health gonna make it all the way across with uh, with energy to spare. Now look, MGA is really, really close to Zenny right here. This is a testament to not only MGA's skill but also his comfort level with this route. Trying to, I've been racking my brain, Zost, about what Spellin still has to collect. Uh, I guess Ridley. It has Spellin done Ridley? Yeah. Uh, uh so. The Brinstar loop? Okay. Thanks, Simo. Shout out to this community. You can always rely on the members of this community to pay more attention than I do. <laughs> um, I, it's, I, it's almost like, you know, when you got a question, you go on Google. But That's when I right. got a question on comms, I go to chat, and I love it. 
know if it's, it's not that far behind either, if it's just a Bren loop. Just a Bren loop. Look at that three door transitions there. But uh, Zenny about to grab the final item. I can hear Sefi saying, call a dentist because got to make an appointment, grab a tooth hurdy. So. I like the clip where it's like, because uh, the movement's so sweet. Uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I really did good. forget about that too. <laughs> That race was an absolute spectacle. Oh my goodness, I was happy to be a part of it. But MGA heading back to Old Mother Brain here. This has to grab, grab the climb sneakers and the 2-3 missiles. Look at this, shine sparking across Old Mother Brain. And grabbing yeah. those, uh, that missile pack underneath her old tank. Yeah, when you're on the elevator, the shine spark timer doesn't count down, so keep keep your shine spark. The same goes for like uh, energy recharges and obviously doors. For sure, for sure. Smell though, I've never, I, I've so rarely seen this item loadout in this area of Brinstar. It almost reminds you of Randomizer. Like this is so interesting. Makes me think of map completion. Yeah. My, the last it. time I ran, last time I ran map completion, uh, it was the ending was somewhat similar, I guess, routing wise. For sure. For sure. Except we hopefully won't be going down to see the decor here. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. But yeah, it could happen. Taking a flying leap over the decora pit there. Sorry, decora. Maybe next game. Oh, just just barely ran out on that uh, shine spark timer to spark the top there of the big pink, heading to the Mission Impossible uh, missiles. Oh, it's it's like, out. Yeah, let's talk about the Metro games. Oh God, <laughs> this is the best. No, oh, but he didn't oh, do it. No, wow. that was an ammo react. He was doing that because his ammo was getting low. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's more it's more important to save to have the ammo for this room. Because <laughs> well, that, that room's room so fast. <laughs> that room three definitely made up for it. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, uh, supers please, Metroids. Come on. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, this is okay. Um, yeah. It's we'll okay. use the <laughs> It's it's not that as bad as it looks, I would say. Because you still have one super for the eye door and the others are red doors, which you can pretty much slammed five missiles into pretty easily. And it's surprising how how you don't lose that much time by just using the real missiles on another brain hundo. It's not that bad. What about this? Oh, the standard anti-clockwise rotation of the baby Metroid. And he's through. Then he completes the baby skip very nicely done. Need to refill his health here, but still blowing away the moss and opening the door. Very interesting. Yeah, that may have been muscle memory because usually, <laughs> usually when you get grabbed, you you'll you'll missile the door open and then turn around and shoot the moss out and go to refill. So oh. that's it looked like muscle memory. To me. Oh, for sure, this is so interesting. Zenny taking a safety save here. He's gonna be wanting to uh, to go for two cries. The manipulation that guarantees only two baby cries uh, once the baby latches on to Mother Brain Two. But I know he's not worried about completing Mother Brain One. He's gonna st stand tall, stand proud, just blast Mother Brain One with yeah. as many missiles as his finger can summon. Yeah, being able to just uh, run into Mother Brain's face and. Not have to worry about the rinkas, and it will save a little. Probably it saves a little bit of lag too, while the, all the rinkas are on screen. So yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Do you see that in chat toes in all uh -oh. cap? Shiny Sunny, remember to oh, save oh the God. game. Oh, someone, someone pull out the. <laughs> Somebody pull out the cap. Yeah, shout out to Professor School, Nobody Nada, many people have uh, amazing, amazing minds, amazing intellects have contributed to this two cries manipulation. And it's already over. The Mother Brain 2 fight's already <laughs> over. MGA are already setting up. Uh, 
dog's a complete baby skip. And Spellin, you blink, and the Grim Star cleanup is almost finished. He's into retro now. Gonna be finishing right at the climb supers in 230. Amazing stuff. I'm sorry, I totally misunderstood what Professor Screw was saying. There's a one five set up. It's, it's cast only for now. There it is, Sassy going into the data vaults and pulling out that copy pasta Zos. Zos hit me with it. I, I don't wanna I don't, I don't want to talk anymore. He hit me with the copy pasta Shiny Zinny remember to save the game. In my opinion, it's very important to remember to save your game. When, it's gone. Oh, okay, here it is. When I play the game, I use every save point I can. It's better that way. <laughs> it's better that way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Billy Mays room completed by smelling so nearly finished. Going all the way back to Old Father Brain. Zenny though, going with this stand-up glitch. Baby Metroid getting pelted with onion rings. And the MGA also, I, honestly, at the beginning of this race, I didn't think all three runners would be this close. I'm so impressed. Yeah. You got a lot of talent in this community. Unbelievable amounts. Unbelievable amounts of talent. And it's not even just runners either. I mean, we have to give a lot of shout outs to uh, people that are figuring stuff out behind the scenes, people that. Uh, what have worked on the, uh, the practice hack? I mean, there's just I, I can't even do a comprehensive list because there's so many people. I mean, people like you, hockey. They're just commentating mostly, bringing some hype and enjoyment to the community. Yeah, there's so many people that are playing a part. So, I thanks feel, everybody. I appreciate it. So, I mean, I, I feel very fortunate that I've been able to continue uh, going back and start commentating at the uh, Prodigies tournament of uh, 2019. But it's been a it's been an amazing five years. Uh, amazing to be a part of this community. We've met tons of amazing people. And when I say amazing, the whole time my head's going to pop. Like a damn lion right off of my neck. Um, <laughs> pick a different word, Hoggy. Uh, Smelling those. Hey, they're, they're blooming right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's topical. It's topical. It's 100% topical. <laughs> or Absolutely. seasonal, maybe. Seasonal. Seasonal wow. and topical. I'll seasonal and topical. <laughs> I'll take both. <laughs> what also is topical is this fundamentals on display here by Shiny Zenny. Oh, is he going to taunt? I think he's going to taunt. I think he's going to taunt. 230 missile pickup for Spellin here. But Zenny unloading the rest of his ammunition towards the animals before making a quick getaway. Oh my goodness gracious. Guy average though into Mother Brain 3. Maybe a one shot. Oh, oh, uh, oh! <laughs> the save of a lifetime. Oh my gosh! And Shiny Zenny has done it, so it's with an official the run .gg time of one hour fifteen minutes and fifty three seconds. GGs to Zenny. Oh my goodness! But Zos, we've still got two runners. <laughs> We got Guy Average, we've got Spellin', Spellin's about to hit G4. Guy Average is already on the escape, hot on Zenny's heels. Look at the Kenny. blue bomber! <laughs> Very nice. God, I love it. This room is low-key, one of the most difficult in the, the escape. This big room here called the Leo Dux room. It's so hard yeah. to... To, to, to do this perfectly. It has decided more than one race in this community in the past 10 years. Yeah. Years. There's so many like little ledge grabs in that room and with the screen checking, it's very hard to, to precisely uh, land those jumps. No question about it. Look at, look at MGA just flying up the parlor here. Oh, the commentator curse strikes again. I'm so <laughs> sorry, MGA. Skipping the animals this time. A mighty leap through the door. A little bit of steam and straight to the ship. GG guy average. Finishing with an official the run.gg time of one hour, 17 minutes and 17 seconds. 
You know, you mentioned the Leodox group, so it was, I, I, it was the most recent uh, tournament or what have you that I commentated. I think it was last year or the year before. And I was just doing my thing. Both runners were in the Leodox room, and I mentioned that on, on comms. And in chat, Leo goes, so they're still calling it that, huh? And I just felt so bad. <laughs> Why? Why did you feel bad about it? Because <laughs> Leodox was there. It was years <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> like, no, they're still calling it that. <laughs> it felt so horrible. <laughs> like, can't we call it something else by now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I lose one race this room. That's stupid. That's the way it works sometimes. That's how it works. I mean, they still call it Kojak and a Super. Yeah. They still call it a, it's, it's just, Goop Spark. Goop Spark, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goop Spark has nothing to do with Dragon's Goop pattern. Like, it's. <laughs> that's a runner, is it not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Smell going with the uh, pistachio. No. <laughs> no way. Nice. The pistachio skip. Oh my goodness. Sloters calls that the sweatiest baby <laughs> skip possible. <laughs> Shout out to Sloters. <laughs> Not only a formidable runner, but she's also a wordsmith, folks. And now I, I'm not I'm not too familiar with smell and setup here. It looks oh down grab. Very or nice. down back, I should say. I got my got my four letter nouns mixed up there. But uh it may be a down grab as well, maybe. Down back I grabber. Know, a down a back grab. 60 no scope uh, Rinka blast there. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm Bud, saying. But buttery Rinka blasters. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you done? I don't know. It's amazing. Whatever it is, keep it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now. <laughs> Last man standing. Oh my god, fried and fried rink of rings. This does sound very good. That does sound good. After a long day's work. They'd be spicy. Wash it down with an ice cold Galactic Federation ale. <laughs> but uh 20 shots. They, they can't all hit Zos, let's be honest. <laughs> um, uh, 20 you shots. Can't wait if you don't try hockey. <laughs> 20 shots is already done. Mother Brain 2 is finished. We'll see what kind of manipulation and kind of uh, stand-up shenanigans smelling goes for it here. But he's just got to take the take the rainbow beam on the chin. Damage down. Perfect. Perfect. And now just pelting. <laughs> pelting Mother Brain with these, uh, with these missiles. Oh gosh, smelling in chat saying OMG. <laughs> that that's usually not a great sign. No. <laughs> oh, is he stuck in the floor or no? I, I think that's I, Ruya saying hold R and don't move when baby dies, please. So I wonder if he's somehow gotten stuck or any of the other things that can go wrong during stand up. Uh oh. Daddy got two cries. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have to confess, I've been watching this without game audio, so <laughs> thank you, yeah. Chad, for pointing out the two cries. The two cries. One good way to, to see it, if, if you kind of missed it, the setup is uh, Mother Brain's neck is, like, all the way compressed. Like, oh. the, the head is flush on the shoulders. You don't even see the neck, kind of. And you said you, you said, oh, I haven't ran this game in a year. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, hockey and technical analysis. I'm a little rusty. And this guy knows the visual cues for two cries. <laughs> you sandbagging son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, hockey. No, no apology necessary. Smell and going. I haven't done two cries in like five months and finishing off wow, Mother Brain nice. 2. Or I should say Mother Brain 3. Yeah, two cry is not that easy. Not that easy to get. It's pretty. It's it's kind of specific. So good game on that. All right, we're gonna jump when the sentence is over, and it's gonna land us right in the doorway. Oh, look at that! The three the three minute entry. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Ruya. I missed it on purpose. <laughs> Uh, 
back to the Leah Ducks room. <laughs> say it isn't like, so, so. Say it isn't I'm so. Not... I couldn't think of anything better. I mean, if, if, if I could have something named after me in this game by like four people that call all those little helper platforms for people who can't wall jump, they call those hockey towers. <laughs> we have to call uh, the Leo room something different. <laughs> The logic is airtight, okay? <laughs> uh, but what a display from Smellin. Love the route. Love the showcase. Yeah, thanks for the showcase, everybody. Fantastic stuff. Here I was gathering PBs. I'm like, what route are they going to take? What route are they going to take? And instead we got this. So it was truly a, a spectacle. Smellin finishing with an official... The run.gg time of still running. Um, we're gonna call it 123.13 on the uh, on the stream there from Zenny. 123.40 in the the run.gg room. So GGs to everybody. Holy smokes, those. Yep. Can't ask for a better start than that. I don't think. Yeah, I'll say that was an absolutely spellbinding from start to finish. I definitely want to thank display. you. I definitely want to thank you for uh, for joining too. Uh, it's so much so much easier for me having somebody that's uh, so good at commentating to commentate with. So, uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for doing this, hockey. Well, it's my absolute pleasure, Zos. I it, it, I don't know how many of these I got left in me. Uh, it just as far as time and life, so it's it's a, always very special. Uh, to get to commentate them and it, it's made even more special by doing it with a, a living legend in super metroid like you so so thank you so much for the kind words and uh like i said it's just it's a privilege it's a privilege and an honor thank you zenny uh plenty more super metroid action coming your way in fact if we take a look at the schedule coming up next is going to be 98 percent suitless featuring mm2 nest cartridge with Professor School and Mr. Guy Average on commentary. So that is incredible stuff. So, if any last closing remarks? Uh, no, just thanks, everybody, for uh, for all the memories. And uh, here's to many more ones. Thank you again, Hockey, and thanks, uh, Zenny, for putting this on. And thank you so much, Zost, and thank you, Zenny. And uh, not only will we see you next mission, we'll see you in a few minutes, so... Hope to see you around. Take care, everyone.